Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and I am here to do a MRI experience and results video. So as many of you guys know, I had my MRI yesterday. It overall went okay. I was definitely nervous going into it. I've had many CAT scans in the past and I have had an MRI before. But I was really little, so I don't really remember it a ton. So I was definitely a little nervous. I was pretty emotional yesterday, too. My appointment was scheduled for 4 o'clock, and they wanted us to be there by 3.15 to kind of get checked in and get changed and kind of get the process going. My mom and I actually had gotten there about 2.45 because Colorado is under so much construction right now, so we didn't know exactly how long it would take us to get there, which it actually ended up being a good thing because we got back pretty fast and were able to get the MRI started, um, obviously resulting in getting out of there a lot sooner. So my mom was actually able to come back with me, but since she did come into the room, she had to change into one of the fabulous hospital gowns as well. So we got all changed, went back to the little waiting room. I got to pick out a movie that I could watch. So once I picked out my movie, we went into the actual MRI room. They got me all set up on the table. And then they shocked me with the news that I had to have an IV, which I was not very happy about. I'm not afraid of needles, but I don't like that inner part of my elbow being touched. It's very sensitive. And I just really haven't had good experience with having IVs and having blood drawn mainly because my veins are very tiny and they like to move a lot. So pretty much every time I've ever had an IV or my blood drawn, the nurses can never get the needle in right on the first try. And they're always fishing around in my arm with the needle, which is very, very uncomfortable. So like I said, I was not very excited about that. Thankfully, this nurse was super, super nice, and she was able to get the needle in on the first try. The reason why I had to have the IV was because halfway through the MRI, they inject you with a dye, and it basically just, it's a dye, it helps so that certain things will show up on the imaging. So they got me all hooked up, they put headphones on me, and they put a cage or like a mask over your head, which if you're claustrophobic, then don't put yourself in a situation where you have to have an MRI done because you will have a cage over your head pretty much. Um, it locks you in and yeah, so it's not very fun. Once they sent me in, I was able to watch the movie, and my movie actually had a timer on it, so I was able to see how long I had been in the machine for, which I know some people would hate to see how long they had been in the machine, but for me, it was kind of comforting knowing that, hey, even though I still have another hour in here, I've already been in here for 10 minutes. So it was definitely kind of comforting and I'm definitely that type of person who I don't like surprises, I like to know everything. Um, so it was kind of nice being able to have that timer. About 30 to 40 minutes into the MRI, they took me out, hooked me up to the dye, and then put me back in. And around 45 minutes... I got this really sharp and uncomfortable pain in the left side of my head. It almost felt like I was laying on like the edge of a table. 
um, like my head was jabbing into it. It was super uncomfortable and I am definitely the type of person that I don't like to complain a lot. So I just sat there, I suffered through the pain and finally it was about an hour and 10 minutes where the pain just, it didn't stop. It was very uncomfortable. I started getting pretty emotional about it. So I clicked the little buzzer they had given me. Then the nurse came onto the little intercom and had asked me if everything was okay. And I told her that it just felt very uncomfortable. It felt like something was jabbing into my head. And I started crying because at that point, like I said, I had been in the machine for about an hour and 10 minutes and I just wanted to be out. So she told me that I had about three and a half minutes if I could last. And I was like, three and a half minutes and I'm completely done. She said, yes, you have one test. It's about three and a half minutes and you'll be completely done. So I just stuck it out for that three and a half minutes. I was very relieved to be out of the machine. Um, once they took the mask off and everything and took the IV out, I was, oh, I was so relieved. Um, and then we obviously just got dressed and checked out and came back home. I was very, very tired. I'm still pretty tired. It's very draining, um, for sure, especially because the machines are very, very strong with magnets and it just it makes you very tired. Um, I also had a really bad headache yesterday because of that magnetic force and if you've never had an MRI, um, then it basically, like, you're in this tube and it makes a whole bunch of different really, really loud noises. So, yeah, um, I still kind of have a headache today. It's not as horrible as it was yesterday, but it's definitely making me not feel the greatest. So we ended up getting the results back this morning and everything came back normal which is a good sign that everything is normal, but it's not such a great sign because we still don't know what's causing this pain. So we don't really have any leads as of right now. We're just gonna have to play it by ear, <laughs> literally, and um, just see what happens. Um, my mom thought maybe it was something with an allergy that could be causing that pain. So I guess we're gonna kind of explore down that path a little bit and see if I have to have an allergy test done. Um, if so, that's not gonna be fun either because you basically get stabbed with a whole bunch of needles <laughs> in your back. So not gonna look forward to that if it happens. Um, but someone also had, um, said on Instagram that they have ear pain as well and they asked if I've ever had anything um, done or looked at with my jaw and I haven't and that's a really really good idea so I'm going to talk to my mom about that when she gets home tonight um, and see if if the doctors think that could be something something with my mouth and my jaw that could be causing that pain um, I don't know. I mean, I do have jaw pain, that's for sure, but I've never had anything looked at. So we're going to kind of follow down that path, I think, as well, and kind of see where that takes us. I also had the question if, um, if, <laughs> if I was sedated. No, I was not. Um, it was an option, but to me, that's very scary. Um, I would rather be awake and alert um, and know what's going on than be sedated and not. That's not something that I'm very interested in. Um, I've never been sedated, so I don't know how that medication would affect me. Um, they do have that option, obviously, out there, though, for, um, you know, the people who don't want to know what's going on and for those um, mainly, like, younger kids who can't stay still. Obviously, I'm old enough to know that I need to sit still. Um, but yeah, so no, I didn't get sedated. That's just not something that I really wanted to do. 
so yeah that was everything um i just wanted to keep you guys updated i will continue to keep you guys updated if anything else happens if we end up doing more testing or anything so i guess just stay tuned um it's kind of been a long process so far and i have a feeling it's still going to be a long process i just hope that we can get some answers because i've been having this pain for like a year and yeah so I just hope that the pain goes away because like I said I just I cannot take it any longer so I hope you guys are having a great day um, I will talk to you guys again really soon and I will see you later